friends. Welcome. Welcome once again to Tenebris Tuesday. Because I couldn't think of a T word that applies to the legacy of Cain. So, yeah. <clears throat> Remember how I said last time, um, whenever you save and reload, you don't you don't come back where you were when you saved the game. You always come back here. Always back here. the vortex. Oh, is it literally right above me? There it is. The pit. Yeah. Seek out Zephon's lair, Raziel. Beyond the ruins that greet your exit from the underworld. Armed with the Soul Reaver, you may gain entry where your path was previously blocked. Zephon, huh? All right. Well, luckily, I picked up that shortcut last time. secrets there, a lot of unlockable stuff, but its purpose in the story is no longer really relevant. Which is kind of cool, because it makes the world this big, like, place where not everything is... It makes the world feel kind of bigger than just the story, which is neat. I think it's this way. Yeah, water, acid, oh god, ow. And, oh god. It's fine. It's fine. We're fine. Totally fine. Oh, hello. Yeah, fuck you. Come here. This is a moat. Look at that. It's a moat. And what's this? It's like, hey, what's up? Just hanging out. Just marching around. Hello? Hello, human. Are you cool? Yeah, you're cool. Door? Nope. Oh, this is a paved road. That's 
an electric light. Hello. Flamethrower guy, what's up, bro? Okay, um... Ledge. Oh, I know what to do. I know what to do. We gotta make our own staircase. I don't know how these humans get up there, but this is how I'm gonna do it. No idea how the humans do it. Oh. Hello. The human citadel. Its towering walls and deep moats engineered to keep Nosgoth's vampire plague at bay. Though the city was well fortified against vampires, its human architects hadn't considered a breach by a creature such as myself. <laughs> Hello. Yes. Oh, it's cool. We're cool. So... City. The last human city of Nosgoth. What's up, bro? Hello? Hi there. How you doing? Yep, that's out of there. They have electricity. structure, the central square shaped structure, there's a way in. Uh, we just can't do that yet. If we need to uh, need a new building, we don't have yet. We can do this. Stairs! Come on, open. There, now I got the warp gate. It's 
to oil the hinges. Yeah. All of the hinges in Nazgoth are rusty. Every single one of them. to see you know that guy who took all of the level maps for Dark Souls and overlaid them on top of each other and like connected them up so you can see what like the whole world looked like at a glance I would be really interested to see someone do that with this game because it's kind of hard to get a sense of where everything is in relation to each other mainly because of the short draw distance which is again a hardware limitation Perspective to be able to see where everything is relative to everything else. By the way, if you think that water tower is significant, you're right. We'll come back to that. We'll come back later. day in Nazgoth that's always this weird twilight. It's because the world is dying. Grave is dug. We're simply trying to set the general rights. Yep. Uh, okay. Ooh. Hey, it's a wraith. What's up? No, oh, reaver. Get reaved, nerd. Get reaved, idiot. Okay, so blocks at the bottom. So we're gonna have to drain this somehow. Back up and look for a way to drain this. Oh, there's a hinge valve thing over there. That'll work. Hey, humans, what's up? Look, if you shift in like that, they'll be surprised. They're like, oh god, what the hell? Because you just you just appeared out of nowhere. There we go. Kings might be joining us later. Once in a while you can see it when the, the engine kind of skips a beat when it's trying to load stuff in. The steps, they, they what? Footsteps grow. Yes! His footsteps are a little bit squishy. Right. Okay, so we build steps up to there, and then shift, and then phase through. Okay, I got it. See, I can immediately see what we're doing here. And then there's gonna be a... Uh, he has wet socks. Yeah. He's, he's a little soggy from spending, like, 600 years at the bottom of the lake. Or however long it is. 
I guess you can can the soggy socks. Yeah, that's that's the real legacy of Kane is the soggy socks. Not, you know, the whole corrupted pillars and dying world thing. That's not Kane's legacy. His legacy is the socks. Socks are the worst. I'd fight the world too. Yeah, yeah. If 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 saving the world means soggy socks, then yes, I too reject the sacrifice. Let the pillars fall. My socks shall be dry. All right. This is cool. Isn't that interesting? What could it mean? I genuinely have no idea. Blood Omen had this, like, ancient vampiric script, which was a simple substitution cipher for the alphabet. I wonder if this is that. No, because it looks like a texture that's just been mirrored, so maybe not. It's, it's, that never occurred to me until just now. What is this? Like a little chapel. Weird. This is where you learn Foos, yeah. Hey! It's a pie piece! A little fountain, isn't that cool? Alright, yoink! Alright, and the swirl got bigger, check it out. Check out the swirl at the bottom right, it got bigger. Oh yeah. Get up there? No, can't get up there. Big swirl. Okay, so watch now, when I switch back to spectral, it'll uncoil. Watch. See? That's the other thing is when you shift and you have the reaver, you stay at full health, which is useful, which means you can like rapidly shift back and forth. Come on, come on. I think that's about all we can do here for now. Sorry, didn't mean to surprise you there, bud. You guys like that buttery smooth 22 frames per second. This game really pushed the PlayStation hardware to the limit. Like, this is about... The most technically intensive the PlayStation could get in terms of everything that's going on under the hood here. There were games that looked better, but they were not as 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 impressive from a technical standpoint as Soul Reaver. Because there's a lot that's happening under the hood here as as we play. What you can see is that all these this I pointed this out last time, but there's no loading screens. Everything is being streamed in in real time. Which is huge for like... 1999. That's pretty common in video games nowadays, but in 1999 it was not. Also this terrain deformation when you shift, that's, that's also being done in real time. There's actually two maps of the world. Um, and when you, when you shift planes like that, and you swap planes, and the world twists, it is, like, it's performing those, those alterations from one map state to the other. I 
it's a lot more obvious in some regions. Like some regions get are wildly different between planes. episode of this. You might want to come back next week. Here's your warning. Here's your content warning. Alright. Here we are. Let's go inside. Check it out. Spider vampires. Awesome. Okay, so, so far we have three major evolutions of vampires. We got the weird, like, wolf dudes. Uh, we got the zombies, and we got these guys. Spiders with leather pants, yeah. Well, notice that Kane also wears leather pants, so it's clearly a vampire thing. Ready. So yeah, what is all this? This place is big. So big it's having a hard time rendering it all. There. 
hear you. I hear you. Oh god, this one. Come on. Some fisticuffs. Alright, I got no weapons. I gotta- Oh! It's spike! It's spiky! Look at that! You see that? It's spiky! Alright, come here, motherfucker. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Fight me. Hand to hand with the spider vampire. Ow. Ow, stop it. Ow, damn it. Okay, he's stuck. Uh, pick him up. Throw you in spikes. No! Damn it, it didn't work. Spikes? No. Okay, throw you away. Move you over here. Spinner. No. No. I gotta beat you up some more. Okay. Okay. And then. Bro. No, it doesn't work. I thought for sure you could use that to kill him, but okay. Well, let's just climb higher then. Fuck him. Surely spider vampires can't climb. Maybe there's a weapon I can use up here. Right, so we're trying to get there, okay. Okay, okay. Spider vampire. Oh, what is this? What do we have here? Oh, hello. Oh god, there's more of you. Stop. God. Stop. God. Stop being so damn fast. Seriously, no weapons? Nothing? Oh, wait. Uh, oh. This is a dead end. Okay. Um. I guess maybe this is a shortcut later. Stop dying, you coward. Yeah. I guess maybe this is a shortcut for later. Okay, bye. See ya. Weapons, 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 weapons. Nothing. Okay, nothing I can use. Uh, power-ups. Useful for when I can get up there. Okay, so cross here. And now we can get there, but I can also go over here. Maybe there's a weapon I can use. Nope, but magic. It's a nice little nice little house. Not too bad. You know, price of price of rent being what it is at Nazgat these days, it's respectable. I'm at low health, but the reality is I can just plane ship. Oh, yes! Weapon. Alright, motherfucker. Where are you? There you are. Oh, he sees me. Okay. Alright. It's on, bitch. Yeah! Oh, how about that death scream? That's a pretty good one, eh? That's a pretty good yeah, base hug road stick. You're right. You're right, it is. Okay, where's the other one? There's the other one. I know you're here somewhere. Where are you? Where are you? There you are. Hey, what's up? It's on the corner and just smack you with a stab. God damn it. Okay. Staff. Uh, alright. Let's push onward. Actually, I'm gonna be smart. I'm gonna leave this here. In case I ever come back this way and need a weapon. Now I have one. Because when I have shift planes, not like I can take it with me. Throw some drive T here. Ah, you know. So how you guys 
guys doing? Anybody been up to anything cool? Oh, god damn it. Okay. I made some spaghetti carbonara for supper today, which is real nice. Little crunchy pinch hit of cubes. It's really good. It was so good, in fact, that I went back. Because uh, I, I, made, I made enough for two portions of it. And it was so good I went back for seconds, and now I don't have any left. <laughs> Taco salad? What do I like taco salad? Ah yes, the Mega Bank tournament. I I am I'm part of that. I'm gonna be in that. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be real good. Hello. What's he doing? Spider. He's just having his, he's, he's saving his dinner for later. Shut that staff. Or like any weapon. Yeah. Alright. Should have taken the staff with me. Fuck it, we ball. Sup nerd, see you later. Fuck you. Weapon! Weapon. Hey. Where'd you go? Did you- Are you serious? Are you fucking serious? You son of a bitch! You tried to climb the wall to get me! Oh god. Low health. Watch out! Yeah, come on down. Come on, pick it up. Once a testament to mankind's defiance of Cain's empire, this towering cathedral now stood derelict. The humans who worshipped here, dead for centuries. Its architects conceived this tower as a holy weapon against the vampire menace, a colossal instrument of brass and stone. The cathedral's pipes, once tuned to blast a deadly hymn, now stood silent, and these vacant spaces whistled. Their impotence. The cathedral is a giant pipe organ. How fucking cool is that? How cool is that? The humans found the vampire's brown note, yes. Um, one of the weaknesses, the vampiric weaknesses in, in the Nazgoth lore is some frequencies of sound can harm vampires. And some frequencies can kill vampires. So yeah, the humans found the vampire brown note. The original ending of this game, after going through everything else, you would come back here, Having defeated everybody, you'd come back here and you'd reactivate the cathedral, and you would blast the the death the the death song across all of Nazgoth, destroy all the vampires. That was the original ending, but we're not going to do that, which is a shame because that sounds metal as fuck. Game okay, over. Let's see. Oh. Shit. Did not mean to fall in here. Um, I'll get out. 
This way, okay. Oh, is this the tunnel that I was like, what the hell is the point of this? I bet it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it totally is. Go away. Fuck off. Fuck off, I said. Go away. I don't have any weapons, I don't want to deal with you motherfuckers. Alright. Back up we go. Low health. You know, he's doing the low health buzz. Buzz. I don't know if you guys can hear, because my... My hands are resting on... Yeah, odd symbol, surely no meaning. My hands are resting on my desk, and I'm holding the controller and it's buzzing. Because the vibration is on. So I don't know if that's, I don't know if that's carrying through the microphone stand. Anyway, do you remember what I said about some really wild terrain distortions? Watch this. The pipes are warped. Also, the music changed. Oh. So usually what's gonna happen in this game is the, the, the loop is, oh, I can't find a way out of here. This looks like a dead end. Let's see what it looks like in the other plane. In the other plane, these pipes twist and warp and become a bridge. Isn't that cool? I think that's cool. That's going to be a thing throughout this game. What's going to become the bridge to the next area if I shift planes? Careful not to fall off here. Out of two carnival music. Not wrong. Okay, now watch them watch them shift back like snakes. <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> that is so cool. What's we got here? Great. Get up there. Ooh, something shiny up there. Maybe we can get to it later. Busted great. And here we are. We're up, up here, which... I wonder what this is. Hey, look. It goes further up. What are these? I wonder. Giant pedals. Click. Okay. Now, how do we get the other one? Link to the past. Yes. Very linked to the past vibes. Oh, hello. Well, there's a door between you and me, so I'm not worried, but, uh, guess who has the ability to pass through insubstantial barriers? Yeah. Now, where's the portal on this side? There it is. Handy. I'd like you to consider what just happened from this vampire's perspective. I just teleported from his perspective. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Too fast for you. Too fast for you. And you. And you. Get sorry, you idiot. Yeah. That's what I thought. So check out these murals. Check out the number of arms. 
Weird, huh? So, all we're doing here is we're matching up the pictures. Now that one we're gonna have to flip, which means it has to be oriented so that when we flip it, it's in the right position. Which means the painted side has to be down. That should work. Perfect. Now, what do we have here? Ah, okay, so that just has to be rotated. Easy. It's a flip. Flip. I'm, I'm good at spatial relations puzzles like these. And not in the same way that I'm good with numbers. Shut the fuck up, Wagger. There's a T. Oh, my T's almost cold. Let me just finish it. Mm, yum. Leaf water. Okay, same problem here. It's just facing the wrong way, so we just gotta flip it around. Okay, okay. Nope. Flip. Okay. And flip. Okay. And then just drag into place. Yep, okay. Now, last one. picture. Oh, this is the back, okay. So we'll just flip that around. Very good. Flip. And flip. And we're good. Come on. the door. Let's see where that takes us. Now open the door. There we go. There we go. Okay. Let's approach it. Sorry. Stuff on my desk I should get rid of. Over to the helm. Okay, there we go. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Messy desk. Uh, what's down here? Oh, I hear combat news. Oh, God. God damn it. Oh, God, there's another one. All the way off. Damn it. I said, fuck off. Can I still. Can I actually throw you with these spikes or not? No. Am I supposed to be able to? Am I just doing it wrong? Oh, staff. Staff, 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 staff. Oh, God. Yoink. 
I have a spear now. All right, it's on. What? No. Personal space, spider dude. No! Fuck, god damn it. Don't throw it there, Raziel, you idiot. Here, he's saying to come back. Because I can always get more weapons, because I can just swap planes and come back at full health. Easy. Alright, alright. So, step, click, and we've turned on. Okay. Now, what does that do? What do you guys think that does? All that air. Rising. What do you suppose that means? What am I to do with that, I wonder? Well, we, there's a big opening there. We presumably need to go up. Hot air rises. Parasail, yeah. Parasail is correct. Slow descent. Up we go. Now the eagle-eyed audience members there will will have seen um, past tense of C will have seen um, that as as we saw Raziel rising up there, um, you could see his shadow cast on the invisible surface that he was standing on for the animation that that rose that, that lifted him. <laughs> Alright, so we got a little opening there. We got pipes. And does it keep going up? I think it might. What's this? Let's check this out first. A bell! Interesting. Alright. I'll come back to that. Got a corridor. Oh, we got a nice glass window thing here. That's cool. Yeah, that's right. It's, he's, he's a fraud. Oh, and this just leads into that big um, circle bit with the bell. Okay. We got doors. We got doors. We got more glass. Glass with a bell on it. So what if we ring the bell? You're a human. Yeah, do you remember the vampire cultist I was talking about? There is some remnant of them here. Oh, hey, what's up? Thanks. Uh, you can't pass through the glass because it is a solid surface. These are the vampire cultists that would have been in the other city in the original game, but. Uh, the only remnant of them is here in the cathedral now. Hey, we know what to do with this. Ring a ding ding. More 
than one bell. Okay, so... What do we have here? Ah, it's fight time. Go. Get, get in the pipe. It's Razio with the steel pipe! Oh my god! Can't fucking see. No, no, throw it at him. Anybody else? Just those two? Just those two. Okay, so these blocks are hollow. And there are sockets in the wall that are hollow. Oh yeah, so what we're doing here is we are using these blocks to connect one socket with the other, like a pipe. Um, I think to get more airflow to go further, to go higher. I think that's why we're doing it. I know, it's been a while. That should do the trick. Hey, you want to break physics a little bit? Check this out, we're gonna break physics. What am I holding on to? Nothing! Uh... <laughs> Spooked! <laughs> air moving through those pipes. It's making a sound. Um, breaking the law, we're going to get a permanent record. Mercury Alpha, record this. Splayed hand eggplant. Give the people what they want. Oh, you're back. You're back. Well, I'm armed this time. I was armed last time, too, but. Fuck! Oh god, your dad's back, too. supposed to do something? Because it doesn't appear to have worked. Day Diggs must have taken it down again, yeah. Just like Diggs took down your mom. <laughs> oh. We got little crystals. A little vamp. But 
Oh, okay. Okay, so, yeah, so the air pipes make the sound that shatter the crystals. And then I guess those do something we don't know yet. The other door will also have a block puzzle, which we will also use to shatter a crystal. Although we are currently doing things because they're there and not because we know exactly why yet, but that's fine. Oh, ah! Did you just throw a knife at me, you son of a bitch? Rude. Unbelievably rude. He threw a knife at me while I was coming through the door. There. Already full magic, so that doesn't help me. These are easy kills. Much easier to kill humans than vampires. Now as for these guys, my favorite method is just to run around swimming the soul reader like that, and then uh, there we go. Easy peasy. So it looks as though we have more tube here. Oh yeah, oh, okay, let me deal with you first. Eat soul, get the reaver, stab the dude. Okay. Now... This is stacked, so we gotta push this to the side, so we can stand on the platform above and push them down. Easy. Best vampire suit. Hell yes. Welcome, Thunderclap Sasquatch. Thunderclap Sam Squatch. Uh, no, to anyone watching the VOD, I did not just have a stroke. That's that's his that's his name in Twitch. Is in the background track. My god. You guys hear those? Listen. Oh, there it is. This game is such good sound design. Like this place, this place sounds like unnerving. A little like, sort of like organ sounds, and then whispering, the skittering noises. Back up. Yeah. Well, I was saying before, I remember Bowser was playing the first game. So I figured I'd play this one because this is actually the one that I started with. Uh, I don't know if you were here last week, Sam Squatch, but uh, I, was, I was telling the fine folks in, in chat that this was actually uh, the very first PlayStation game that I ever bought. Game. 
See, imagine little 12 year old me being, being spooked playing this game late at night. Little, little babby will. Some might suggest that this being a very an, a, a early, an early gaming experience for me may have had may have been somewhat of a factor in my later appreciation for you know Delta Green and the works of H.P. Lovecraft and all that stuff. Some might suggest. Some might suggest. Certainly not me. Is another bell. Oh, what's this? Do you you do not move? Okay. So you're right. There's another bell. So now we run. It's already faded. Okay. Well, the other one seemed to last for longer, so maybe we hit that one, and then we hit the other one. Didn't have a chance. I learned to read on Baldur's Gate 1. I learned to read on Calvin and Hobbes, which, again, some might suggest would would go on to influence. But yes, I... Okay, um... This one... Seems to linger for a bit longer. But not long enough. Okay. Oh! Will it? Is that... Is that how I do it? I remember this is key. Going through here is key. Oh! I remember how I did this. I remember this puzzle. Okay, so, guys. So this puzzle. I think this puzzle is pretty clever. We gotta hit both bells, but they're far enough apart that we cannot cross the distance between them before, before the bell goes quiet. Who here recalls that when we shift to the spectral plane, time stops? persists. It is one moment in time, frozen. No, it isn't. I'm wrong. Oh, look at that. This wall just dropped here to block passage. Okay, so that's not it. That's not the solution. I thought I was so clever. No, it, it's, that's not it. Okay. What's this? I just saw this. What is this? Ah! That's the timing related puzzle. That crank opens the door, which is on a timer. But this thing is blocked in this. Okay, I, I, okay, I got it. I know what to do. I'm just doing. I was half right. I was solving the, the next puzzle, not this one. This puzzle is just use the, the, the hole to go down here and smack the bell. And that breaks the window. And with the window broken, then we can hit the crank, ship the spectral, and get to the door before it closes. Although, some of you will notice we have effectively just done the same thing twice, because these could very easily have been combined into the same puzzle. Like, that's cool, but... The only reason we had to do that is because the game blocks up the one passage, and it's like, no, you can't use it now. 
these could very easily have been the same puzzle. They effectively are the same puzzle, but yes. I think it would have been cooler if, uh, if it was solved my way. Watch out for the temple guardians or you trade the golden monkey. Uh, retrieve this monkey. Let's play hand eggplant. you. What's up, motherfucker? <laughs> Screw your secret passage. I'm gonna open it permanently. There we go. Now it's open for good. Now that's a design flaw there. That, that, that wheel just like breaking like that. Major, major design flaw. I don't even know why that wheel was there, if it just, just breaks. Oh well. Hold on, just a moment. Okay. Um... Oh. Alright. Okay. I'll just scoot across. Pie pieces. Waves. Hello. Hello, ginger bitters. Welcome. Welcome to the madness. Welcome to the coolest PlayStation 1 game ever made. Next puzzle requires you to find Carmen San Diego. Um, yeah. Pretty sure she's dead by now. Vampires? No. Oh, but locks on the ceiling. Interesting. Because as you guys can see, there are more holes than there are blocks. Now these this mural is interesting too. We got figures. We got a dude with wings. We got a procession and what looks like bodies. How interesting. Okay, so this one looks like it goes here. some kind of horn, there's some kind of a priest, there's a body, and there's a guy with wings and a serpent tail. Okay. What did they mean by this? What meaning was this message intended to convey? And of course, who was in the wrong? Okay. 
Okay. What's this one? Oh, that's the other half of that one. No, no, it doesn't. That's something different. Goes there, maybe? We have company. I heard clicking. Where are you? Where are you? Okay. Maybe he's in the next room. Did it backward when you hit them? I mean, they kind of did. Like, they kind of dropped to a single hit. The yeah, Brazil is pretty friggin' strong. It's kind of a thing. Your physical strength surpasses what you knew in life. That was more Bane than Tony J, I apologize. Uh, nope, that doesn't quite fit. Cathedral. How are you doing? I made a Van Zant militia uniform. Um, there are so many jokes I could make where the punchline is Van Zant militia uniform, but I'm gonna let you explain what that is. Nice. Thank you, sir. So what is the Van Zandt Militia Uniform? I'm dying to know, and I'm sure everyone in chat is as well. Cold weather kit plus mill syrup. That, that they look good together. Okay, okay. I mean, would the Van Zandt Militia even really have a uniform, or would it just be like, whatever you got, just bring it? They don't seem terribly organized. Fortuitous, just like, pretty much whatever you got, yeah. It's like the it's like the old Roman legions, Primarius. Narrow helmet slash beer, beer helmet combo. I like it. I like it a lot. Imagining like like a like 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 a, a, a dual cockpit shots, right? Like clatter cockpit. Now switching to enhanced imaging. Fans and militia cockpit. Sip. surplus. Bold of you, uh, Meep Nix, bold of you to assume that the Canadian Army has surplus. <laughs> Uniform, 
no neural helmet, tanker all the way. Hunter's vest, commando sweater, cold weather pants, work boots, steel toe, nice. Now, are they steel toe or are they composite toe? Because I feel like the souls should be non-conductive. Like, you never know when you might get stray electrical arcs inside the cockpit. Especially a Van Zandt cockpit. Canting for water. Messenger bag, hat, goggles. Yeah, pretty solid. Pretty solid, but I make sure those are composite toe, not steel toe. Non-conductive soul. And that will have a good point, yeah. <laughs> Okay, just regular militia guy. The tanker, right? I gotcha, I gotcha. Still. You want those souls to be CSA approved. Or whatever. Standard. Still good plan. Now they got good ankle support too, because that's really important for safety boots. slip tread as well. You know, just in case you gotta deal with icy surfaces or, you know, oil slicks. Imagine blood is pretty slippery too, probably. See the glowy blue sparkles? That is a vampire wraith, which has re-inhabited its original body. So it's a vampire with wraith powers. Those are not good. They are faster, they are stronger, and when they hit you, they do the soul drain. See? Soul drain. Just going up and up and up. Oh, hello. That's a lot of cocoons on the wall. Oh, God. Okay. I guess we're just going up and up and up. Okay. We're just going to take the spear with me. I might need it. Seeing as I keep getting hit. Okay. New corridor. New zone. Exciting. Ah. Uh, a branching path. Um. Okay. Hype Zone has strong visual story. Yes. Hey, it's those, uh... Those plates with the crystals that we smashed. So we can, we can turn these on now. Oh, you hear that? Fans started moving. Yeah. Thank you. 
Another fan started moving. And then these... We can't actually operate yet. Fantastic, nice. Also, uh, check out this wall. That's, um... It doesn't look like it's part of the original structure. Yeah, okay. That's certainly a wall. Let's go back this way. Yeah, I, just, I love how this area is just one giant pipe organ. It's so cool. Ow! That one is not cool. That was a dick move. Hey, a fire. <gasps> you and bro. What's up, buddy? Uh, how about a snack? Okay, don't kill him. Okay, I don't want to do more than that because I'm afraid I'll actually kill him if I do more than that. <laughs> oh, come on. I want to go up. Hey, it's another one. Okay, so... Uh, okay. How about a little more, bud? Okay, no, I can't quite... There we go, there's the reaver. There we go. Nice of them to give me a little snack. You can't actually kill them if you overdrain them. Um, but I, of course, do not want to do that. Because then they would no longer be helpful. Okay, so this is just big... Sky Void. Excellent. Take that with me. He's, he's still kind of tired. Okay, he's a little tuckered out. He's a little EP. Messiah, yeah. Yeah, we're trying not to kill the humans. Which is a philosophy that will not survive into the, into the later games. Like, I don't think it's too much of a spoiler for people who aren't familiar with the story, but I kind of like how Raziel goes through an arc where first he, like, kind of idealizes his lost humanity, and then by the end of it, he's like, nah, humans are even bigger jerks than vampires. <laughs> by the end, he's like, yeah, never mind, Kane did nothing wrong. <laughs> Humans fucking deserved it. Oh, hello. Smack. Smack. Alright. she is. Oh, she's she's almost here. She's just having stir-fry. Okay, um... Let's take... Let's take a short break. I'm gonna start another another cup of tea. At the end, he agrees with Kane being played like a... Yeah. I'm gonna start another cup of tea. Uh, we'll give King's Row a minute or two to, to come and join us. Uh, five minute break, guys. Five minute break. Five minute break. I was about to switch to the standby screen and the picture of the Kiwi was still on there. I was like, yeah, it's funny, but, but no. All right, five minutes.
Hello. Tea is just steeping in my mug here. Not quite five minutes yet. Kane's not looking reasoning. Is it good? Debatable. Definitely understandable. Yeah. Kane is not in the right and master of all facts. He just reacts to what was in front of him. Yeah. Raziel is the same. No one can argue the humans did nothing to deserve this. <laughs> Yeah. There aren't really any good guys in Legacy of Cain. They're all just varying shades of horrible. What kind of tea? Just plain black tea. Nothing fancy. There is one good guy. Oh, okay. Who's the, who's the one good guy? Is, is, is it... Is it Yanos? Because I'd buy that. Actually, you know what, Kai? No, you're wrong. There's two good guys. Um, There was one other good guy. And Cain murdered him. William the Just. Now, I know what you're going to say. Oh, King William became the, the nemesis and tried to conquer all of Nazgoth. Yeah, but... Cain changed history and that never happened, and so King William died a saint. <laughs> I think he was like the nemesis because Mobius manipulated things to make him the nemesis to make Cain go back and give him an excuse to start the Vampire Crusade. That's my theory. I think good guy King William was the original history. Let's just soak in, soak in the ambience a little bit while I wait for my tea to cool down. <laughs> while we wax philosophical about the legacy of Cain. Time travel is inherently paradoxical in this food bar. Yeah. It gets a little convoluted with the time paradoxes later on. But they make it work. You guys want to know a good movie about time travel, though? Who here has seen Primer? That's a fucking great film. That film made my head hurt. The bootstrap paradox. Yeah. Yeah. There are some un... Yeah. <laughs> There are some unanswered questions about how things work with relation to some of the way the nested paradoxes are nested. But I don't want to get too much into that. What was the game where you switched between Kane and Raziel? That's Defiance. That is the... Um, depending on how you count it, it is either the third or the fifth entry in the series, depending on how you count. Defiance was trying a little bit too hard to be uh, Devil May Cry. I think it should have stuck to its roots more. I think it should have been less action combat-y and more puzzle platformy. but it has a phenomenal story. Um, just superb writing. Superb voice acting. Soul Reaver 2 was pretty light on gameplay as well. It was mostly a story that you just walked between. Bootstrap Paradox is a variation of the Grandfather Paradox, where instead of just provoking 
the inciting incident, the bootstrap paradox sort of loops back on itself. Um, if anybody has seen Fringe, the uh, the machine at the end of season three is an example of the bootstrap paradox. There are grandfather paradoxes in Soul Reaver. Uh, depending on how you interpret certain things, there may or may not be bootstrap paradoxes. Depending on how you interpret certain things. The big questions are like... Well, I don't want to get too much into it because we haven't gotten there yet in the story, but there are a couple of things that are kind of unclear how they were supposed to unfold before the main character's altered history. But uh, we won't get into that just yet. I do want to try and play the second game. I hear the PC port is difficult to make work. This is not the PC port, by the way. This is the PlayStation version. Uh, because the PC port of Soul Reaver 1 was hot garbage from a butt. It did not have any of the... Dy it had, like, half the dynamic music. It was, it was bad. If I can get the PC port of Soul Reaver 2 to work, and if it works as well as... PlayStation 2 version. I'll do that. I can't. Well, we'll see. Is my tea cool enough to drink yet? Defiance starts the same way Soul Reaver does. In oh! Um. A little bit. A little bit. Kind of. Kind of does, isn't it? I didn't, didn't really think of that. That didn't occur to me until you said that just now, Billy Snake. That's a, that's a clever observation. Kind of kind of feeds back into the whole theme about the the Ouroboros and snakes eating their tails and such, doesn't it? That's neat. That's really neat. All right. Enough screwing around. Let's play with these some more. Heathen take drop an ice cube. What like on the floor? how he can afford a house that need for a high-paid job. No, that's just called inflation and market distortion. The Revolutionary War was fought over whether we should have our tea hot or iced. Um, do I know something, actually? I know in American history it's called the Revolutionary War. In British and Canadian history it's taught as the American Revolution. Oh, hey, I just randomly got the right sequence. Yeah, so we're trying to get, like, a resonance... A resonance between two, two pipes to be the right frequency to make the crystal shatter, is what we're doing. The War of Colonial Aggression. That's uh, the War of Colonial Treason, actually. Multi-dude. Another one of these motherfuckers. Yeah. Too fast for you, motherfucker. Get soul rave, nerd. Teen Harbor, make shine, grow hunt, run guns, disregard the crown. Nice. Fire. Go on the fire. Yes, there you go. How much does Nazgoth hate you to be throwing so many rates? Well, here's the thing, Kai. The world is dying. This is a theme. The world is dying.
aren't randomly generated, Kai. They're, they're placed. Oh, I saw that. I saw that, motherfucker. Trying to sneak up on me. Fucking saw that. God damn it. Oh, get, get over here. Stop fighting in this stupid trench. Ah. God damn it. It's trench warfare. Oh my god, it's a king's room. Surprise! Okay. Hello, king's room. I thought Good you would like eat. this region because this this is an old cathedral that is a giant pipe organ, and it's full of spiders. Uh, you had me at cathedral and then you lost me at spiders. Look at that! It's a spider vampire. Uh, thanks. I hate it. Yeah. Anyway, check this out. Come on, come on. What? <laughs> there you go. Okay, so we're trying to get... Now for some resonance. Yes, I got it right. Hello, people, people. I have missed you. I saw that. He just dropped in again. I saw that, too. Come here. Come here. Come here. Stop. Get out of the stupid trench. I can't fight in the trench. Didn't anybody tell him it was rude to drop in unannounced? Ow. Ow. I mean, that my soul reaver. God damn it. Okay. Off the trench. Pick you up. And let's go praise Zorg. Praise Zorg, motherfuckers. Yeah. No, that wasn't a wraith, that was a regular vampire. Us. Even outside of control, Trench is messing with us. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, so let's swap. Guys, should I backtrack and show King's Row the organ room? Show me this organ room of which you speak. Well, this whole cathedral, this giant structure, is one enormous pipe organ. Also, uh, check out that wall. Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. That that that's a nope for me, dog. Nope. <laughs> you know how I am about spiders. Yeah, I knew you'd love this region. <sighs> Little known fact about me, chat, I have arachnophobia. Well, don't you love those like chittering sounds in the back? No! How about those cocoons <laughs> on the walls? No! Are they moving because of PS1 texture glitches and the lack of floating points, or are they moving because they're breathing? Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> <laughs> Is this because I weaponized arachnophobia against you that one time? When was this? Oh, what the hell? Spiders on the ceiling? I don't remember this. What, this area or the time I freaked you out? The time you freaked me out, remind me. Uh, Delta Green? You'll have to be more specific. Uh, you guys were breaking into a psychiatrist's office at night? I do not remember this. It was like three years ago. <laughs> Down, not up. Whee! I want to go down to the 
to the, the pipes. I want to go to the pipes. Apparently the game has decided no. Oh, nope. Did it? Here, there was a whole little um, internal monologue about how the humans built this as like a, a sound powered weapon to blast anti vampire music. But now they're all dead. What the hell would anti vampire music sound like? Well, we were talking about this about how that's a, that's a weakness unique to the, the, the Nazgoth mythology of vampires. That there are certain sound frequencies that could mess with them and some that could even kill them. So, blasting handles Messiah is probably not a good idea. I mean, maybe it is. Now, you want to see something really cool? Yes. Watch this. Watch the pipes, okay? Mm-hmm. Whoa! Also, the music changed. Oh, that's dope as hell! This is probably one of the coolest zones in the whole game. This room specifically. So you climb up here. Oh, you fall off like an what? idiot. <laughs> Gravity. Gravity. Reminds me of a music joke. You want to hear it? Sure. All right. So two windmills are standing in a field. Uh -huh. One says to the other, "Hey, what kind of music do you like?" The, other, the second one says, "I'm a big metal fan." Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, hang on. I missed it. Okay. So watch. They they warp, and then we shift back. Okay, that was kind of cool. I'm okay. not gonna lie. Go back. Like, like metal snakes. Anyway, and then uh, we just ride the air currents. This was a whole thing getting these turned on. Ride the air currents back up. Because this, this structure is Whee! massive. Feels like something that would be in Talonguard. Not yet. Uh, not ever if I have anything to say about it. Alright, so then there's some more puzzles around here. Secret door. Cultists. These are Scooters. Some, these regular ass humans. That's why they're so easy to kill. That was a fun sound. And then you eat his soul. Oh, this is a good waste. Now that's a spider. Ah! when they die. Oh. Yeah, that's nightmare fuel for me, thank you. Oh. We were talking about the sound design, like the, the cricket noises in the background. Every once in a while you hear whispering. Really good sound design, really unnerving. Yeah, my skin's crawling a little. There, see? Whispering. Whispering and scuttling. Thanks, I ate it! Oh. That's the wrong one. Um. There, fans are all on now. The cultists turn their people to have spiders. No, the spiders are vampires. They're the children of Zephon, who over hundreds and hundreds of years uh, slowly evolved and became less and less human and more 
something else. Spoiler alert, it's probably spider. Yeah, more spider-like. I, I don't think that counts as an evolution, I'd call it a devolution. Here's the interesting thing, is, is the various vampire clans evolved in different ways, in ways that suggest that they were in fact adapting to their environments, which is kind of... kind of terrifying if you think about it. Also, the walls are becoming less stone and more web as we go higher. Uh, I don't like it. Uh, you are you are really not gonna like the boss then. Oh god. What? Why? Will? Oh, don't worry. Why? About, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Carefully walk across. Don't want to fall. Noonan, break. Oh damn! I was gonna try to make you fall. <laughs> Uh, damn it. <laughs> I got my wish. Okay, there. Now we knock this one over. Yeah, definitely more web than stone these walls. And the... Uh, the floating point text uh, pixel snapping is really not really not making them any less unsettling. It's not helping matters any. Because it looks like they're moving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the whole place right. That's that's actually because of the way PlayStation renders graphics. So pixels will uh, textures will snap to the nearest pixel. Right, stop that. Okay, I lost that one. I lost the soul. Uh, do we have anything we can kill him with? I don't think we do. Oh. I can try again to put him on one of these metal spikes, but it didn't work last time. No, it doesn't seem to work. Like, it should, because those are big, spiky things. And it's it's trying to seek him onto the spike, but it's just not working for some reason. Oh, and he's back. Okay. Uh, what if I just do this and pretend he's not there? I mean, it's worth a shot. There we go. Okay. Nope. Jump. Okay, so now we gotta get in there. Uh... Okay, oh. Torch! I see a torch. That's a weapon. Praise Zorg! Oh! Spear! Yes! My old friend. Alright, motherfucker. Where are you? Oh, they both came back! So much. <laughs> okay. Across. Across we go. Whee! Okay. So I won't need this, so I will leave it in an easy to reach place. This is 
spare your friends, not spear your friends. Ah, oh, my mistake. Sorry, Silica. So I, I misunderstood. Also, look. I mean, I guess you could say silicone sold. He got the point in the end. More pipe organ. Don't die. These guys are easy. Besides, you always have the reader of the spectral world. Spectral is easy mode. It was oh, a very hello. pointed discussion. Surprise! Surprise, motherfuckers! Oh, that's cheap! I saw... Pipe. Yes. The steel pipe! Bludgeon him! Get him! It's technically a sharp object. <laughs> Nasty. There we go. Now we could go back and ride the ride the draft upward. But I think Yes, there is more to explore here. Yes it is. Whoa! Suddenly the ceiling got a lot lower. It does that. Isn't that cool? Anything's a sharp object if you push hard enough, yes. Ugh. That's exactly right, Kai. Kai Harper with the excellent takes. Hey, what happens if we hit that bell, do you think? Bong! Hello! Cage match starts, that's what happens! Ow! God damn it. And here I am with a weapon. That's fine. Yeah, can't follow me now, motherfuckers. Oh, hello. Uh, weapon? Apparently they can. Hi. Two pipes. I only need one. Kind of a shame they won't let you dual wield. Yeah. They actually can climb, uh, sometimes. I think we're playing ledges and stuff. They, uh, so that one tried to pull me up a ledge, remember at the beginning? Oh, yeah! Ow. No. Give me the spear. Give me the pipe. Let's get a closer look at them. I hate that noise. Somebody noted that they had they have the same leather pants that Kane wears. Oh, sorry, wrong room. I just remembered. There's a valve I have to pull or uh, open. Oh, go away! Go. Give him the steel pipe. Go away. The back of the can. Oh my god! Put that thing way. back where it come from, or so help me. Where did they even come from? They are everywhere. They're like they're they're this is their home. They're in the walls. Uh, they're in the walls. They're in the goddamn they're walls! In the goddamn walls, that's where they came from. Like they're infesting this place. That's the scuttling noises you keep hearing. I hate it. Yep. 
Yes, why do you think you can hear whispers? Yeah, exactly. That's what that is. The whispers and the scuttling. They're everywhere. They're all around you. I don't like it. Oh, here's more. Well, I'm gonna just take this I pipe hate and... it! I'm gonna take this pipe and leave. Later, nerds! <laughs> It here. Yeah, this is not a place to be. This is not a place of honor. <laughs> Alright, that's all three pipes turned on. Oh look, there's more bodies hanging from the ceiling. Eh, and they are moving, I hate it. They're just swaying in the wind. Well, it's freaky and I hate it. I like how you said that instead of we're indoors, what wind? <laughs> I, I have stopped questioning physics a long time ago. <laughs> Why you bully me? Uh, no bully, no bully. No bully? What do you call that? No bully, yeah. We're standing for the audience. Time the audience self insert. Exactly. Yeah, nice job throwing the pipe into the wall there, Will. Yeah. Look, sometimes Raziel just, like, he doesn't have very good depth perception. It's a vampire thing. Well, it's kind of hard to have good depth perception when you're, you know, a rotting corpse. Yeah. It's the interesting thing, though. If you think about it, this is not his original body. Nope. He just, like, when you shift planes, you're not taking your body with you, you're pulling matter from- he's pulling matter from all around him and making a new body. Just by force of will. You ain't got no eyeballs, Lieutenant Dan! Like, you do this? Oof. Soul just goes back to the spectral plane. Body just disappears. No more body. Also what happens when you, you know, fall into water and dissolve. No more body. I thought it was because water is a vampire's weakness. Well, that's exactly it. Is he's, he's kept that weakness despite the fact that he's not exactly a vampire anymore. So his body dissolves because vampire stuff. 
So this is just his soul just floating around the spectral realm. Floating around basically the astral plane. Go to the ethereal plane. And then you do this. That's not his original body, he's just making a new one from ambient matter. God damn it! <laughs> I like how you keep getting the sword and it keeps going, no, fuck you! Go away. Get the heads! Where's the spear I dropped? Some people who learn the whole reading mechanic are like, oh, isn't that just stupid? Like, there's no challenge because you always have access to the best weapon. No, you have access to the best weapon as long as you never get hit. And if you're Will, you get hit a lot. The second you get hit, you lose it. So, no. You really only have the Soul Reaver when you don't need it. That's the balancing mechanic. It's all web, no stone. Yeah, that's not a good sign. No, not at all. That is not a good sign. I don't like it here. No. What do you think's up here? Uh, something horrible. at the end of that hallway. I hope there are fuzzy snuggles up here, but somehow I think I'm the only thing I'm getting are struggles. I don't think there are any fuzzy snuggles in all of Nosgoth. Nosgoth is not exactly the place for fuzzy snuggles. Damn it, now I want a fuzzy snuggle. Yeah, I think Orc Slayer's right. The only thing we're gonna find is a giant mutated vampire spider. Oh, hello. What the hell? Oh dear god! Son, there is no returning for you, Raziel. Zephon, your visage becomes you. It's an appropriate reflection of your soul. And you are not his handsome Raziel anymore. His precious firstborn son turned betrayer. You have missed so many changes, little Raziel. Look around you. See how the human's weapon of destruction has become my home. Indeed, my body. A cocoon of brick and granite from which to watch a pupating world. A crevice in which to cower, only scuttling from the shadows to devour a victim already ensnared in your cowardly trap. But you've made the mistake of leaving me unbound, and it is you who must succumb to my will. Well, instinct, reflex action. The insect mind finds little difference. I warn you, brother. As my stature has grown, so it is matched by my appetite. Step forward, morsel. Ah. Uh. Oh god, I hate it here. Okay, so... Here's the trick, right? Like Melkaia, Zephon is not susceptible to physical wounds. You try and smack him with the reaver, he just laughs it off. Click. Nothing happens. 
However, with the Reaver, you can smack his little uh, appendages there and shatter them. He gets real mad. He drops a little egg. What's a vampiric weakness? Fire? Fire. Is that why the torch? Ooh, ow. God damn it. Okay, that makes it harder. Dead vampire hunter. Uh, four. four! He did not like that. Okay, so now... Now it's a little bit harder because I don't have the reaver. But I think you can still beat up these, these little dingers. Without the- oh god, without the reaver. Oh god, please don't get eaten. I just had to hit them more. Okay. Oh god, ow. Okay, no, we definitely need the reaver. No, no. Okay, you don't shatter them, you can still make them angry. Okay, so grab the egg. Back up here. Also, I kind of like how, like, he was- it looks like he was cut in half when the door closed. <laughs> it does kind of look like he was cut in half when the door closed. Hey, hey, Zephron. Catch! Get wrecked, get wrecked, nerd! Come on, stab me again. Stab me again. Come on. Oh, hey, go. Okay. Oh, he angry. He's super angry. Oh, God. Look out! Narrowly dodged that. Uh, where is it? 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 There it is. Right there. Okay, here we go. Burn, you son of a bitch! I used harsh language after all. Consuming Zephon's apostate silver has bestowed on you a new gift. Like his vampire spawn, you are able to scale certain walls which are otherwise impassable, but only in the physical realm. In the spirit world, these insubstantial edifices will not support you. We can climb walls now. I guess you could say you're a Spider-Man now. Spider-Man. Spider-Man. In the mountains beyond the pillars, Nosgoth's cataclysms have exposed an ancient crime. Endowed with Zephon's soul, you may now progress where your path was hitherto impeded. So we're gonna backtrack a little bit here, because there is one thing I want to show you guys. I was telling chat earlier that in the original ending of this game, uh, after you kill all the vampires, get all the powers, you would come back here at the very end of the game, very, very end, and you would you would turn on the cathedral and blast the vampire him across all Nazgoth, thus killing all vampires for good. That was the original ending. Which sounds pretty fucking metal to me. Sounds very fucking metal. I was also telling Chad about how there are little hints of the original ending still present in the game, which, because of this game's kind of um, uh, difficult development, this is these troubled are troubled development. These are what the walls look like. Okay, they had these horizontal striations on them. You see it? Uh huh. There have been several walls like this that we walked past. So yeah, because of this game's troubled development, a lot of parts of the old ending are still present. And I'm going to show you guys one part of the old ending. That's a weird chord. It killed them. It killed the 
vampires. Now, this doesn't do anything except kill those two vampires and prevent them from respawning. But it hints at the original ending. This is this is the note. This is the vampire killing chord. Sounds like a tritone almost. It doesn't do anything except that, which is, it's just a little, little Easter egg. The Horn of Doom! The Horn of Doom. Let me think if there's any other places here. A solid Easter egg. Yeah, it's a good one. It's a nice one. There are any other places here where... secrets in here yet. But let's just backtrack through the entire cathedral because I want to go back down to the very bottom because there is one near the entrance. And also because Kingsor hasn't seen the rest of the cathedral. And then we are done with this place for good. <laughs> and may we never come back here again. That's actually true. We will come back at once. We will come back once for a secret. Maybe twice. But we are... We've killed Zephon. Place is basically done. We did what we came here to do. There's a lot of little Easter eggs like that that kind of hint at where the story was supposed to go. Uh, oh no, we can't do that yet. We need something else for that. I say this is probably the, the the best like ambience of any area in the game, but like they are all honestly this good or almost this good. Like, it's not that the other ones are significantly worse. Like they are, they are all this good. And on a PS two, no less. Yeah. Two, one. PS one. Just like level design, sound design, ambience. Like it's it's just it's superb. It's tops. Yeah, it's really good. You are gonna love the next zone too, because the next zone is pretty good. Uh... Okay. Hey, no, is this the right way? That's the wrong way. This is from the era of gaming where doing this is actually faster than walking. Oh, hello. How do you get up there? Oh, I know how to get up there. We can't yet. Or can't we? No. But can't we? Ah, the days of sequence breaking. Uh, can I actually make that jump? Yes, I can make Although that jump. Ah, but... Yay! But, that's a climbable wall, and you can't climb when you're in ghost mode. So I can't get up there Lame. Hmm, I wonder how we're supposed to get there if water kills us. Hmm. Maybe find a way to not be weak to water. Ooh, what an idea. Just just don't fall in the water, forehead. I mean, as, if with as much water as there is as a, as a hazard with obvious things like in beyond the water, like it's pretty obvious that you're going to gain the power to swim at some point. And when you do, boy, does this game open up. Getting the swim power is like... That's that's when that's when things really open up. T pose at the door. Yes. Okay, so here, wait. 
way back at the start. Here we are. And there's a wall right there. Wonder what's at the top. Hey! The a secret! Place. Yay! Now, let's take a quick side trip to... back to Malkia land. Because, do you guys remember, there was a wall at the end of a tunnel on the lake that had those striations on it. Let's go see what's up there. Yay! Exploration! Yeah. I was so proud of myself when I first found that wall. Because there's nothing that points you to go back there, right? There's, there's nothing that's like, oh, you should go back and look for secrets. Nobody says that. You just have to find it and go, oh, that's interesting, and then come back later when you remember, oh, yeah, there was one of those walls. But, like, this game has so much content that's, like, secondary and off the main path. It's so cool. A lot of it's easily missable, too. Things that are secret and hidden. Yeah. Blood Omen was like that as well. Blood Omen had lots of little secret areas and little nooks and crannies and hidden powers and stuff. Sadly, the other two games didn't so much, but that, again, was a symptom of their troubled development. Soul Reaver 2 is essentially a series of cutscenes you walk between, but man, are they good cutscenes. Just amazing. Rene Abergenois does some voice work in two, and um, he he said in, a, in an interview he was talking about, it, and he said like when he was looking at the script, he was like, "So what is this? Like a like an animated movie film or something?" Like, no, it's a video game. He's like, "This is a video game." <laughs> Arbogenois, Mr. House, in Fallout New Vegas. Yes, he was. He was also... He is also very, fairly well known as, as Odo, in Space Nine. Some would say that is what he's most well known for. To Trekkies, not to those of us who haven't really watched Star Trek. Yeah, well, I, I don't know what else he did prior to Star Trek. Anyway, we can finally go up here. Hey, what's up? <laughs> what up, nerd? Get silver, you idiot. So, who here among the audience members who remembers Blood Omen? Who remembers Nup Raptor? Do you guys remember Nup Raptor, the very first guardian? Pillar of Mind? He had a castle up on a cliff? Let me guess, the castle's here. In a castle shaped like a skull. Oh, there it is. This is it. This is that same shot. That same shot from the, from the village, looking up at the cliff where the giant skull castle was. That's it. Or at least that's where it used to be that. What it was. Yeah, it's uh, kind of fallen into disrepair, part of the fun. Ah, goddammit. <laughs> Sorry. Burrowing trick. Hate that. I suspect that's why they put that there. Yeah, I suspect so as well. Oh my god. No, no. Come on. Oh, yeah. Get him, Will! You get the fuck away. I cast go away, nerd. <laughs> 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 
respect my personal bubble, damn it. Yeah. Hey, we got a first time chat. Hello, Captain Crossbow. Oh, look at that. It's a climbable wall. Hey, it's. No, Kaya's got some of those annoying minions. Well, sir, you have not met the uh, the goat bros yet. Let me tell you. Fuck those guys. Okay, their shortcut activated. What is that symbol? I wonder. Hmm. I didn't say the most annoying. Just some of. Yeah. I mean, I think the spiders are pretty annoying just because they keep respawning. Honestly, they're all pretty annoying. Except for the for the for for, for Doomizable Wolf Bros, they're the least annoying. But every other breed of vampire is super annoying for for its own reasons. And we'll just uh, climb in through the eye hole. Now in uh, in Blood Omen, when you when you get up to Nutcracker's castle, you can stand in either eye socket and look out, and in one eye socket you can see like the the green burden fields of Nazgoth, and the other you can see like a blasted, desolate wasteland. I guess we know which one we wound up with. A little bit. <laughs> of foreshadowing at the time, because those were the choices at the end of the game. Oh, fuck off. Okay, no weapon, so see you later. And... Yeah, here we are inside. What's left of... Castle. Uh, if I remember. Oh, hello. Have a nice trip. Nope. See you, see you next fall. <laughs> nope. Nope. Grab. Grab and hold. Have a nice trip. Fuck off. I know I didn't kill him. I don't care. Um. Weaponizing gravity, are we now? Yeah. I bet. I bet this is another plane shifting helpful geometry puzzle. Oh boy, was I right. Yeah, oh look, they all like twisted and. Ah. Ah. To have their to have their dinner in peace. It's gonna leave them be. There's seriously nothing holding this up. <laughs> All right. Um. Oh no, not by there. Oh no, there is. Yeah. Okay. Oh wait, wait, wait. I see. I see. I see. I see it. I see where to go. Thank you. No oh, shit. Hope, prayers, oh, and shit. dreams are holding up. I misjudged it. Ah! Alright, let's try helpful geometry again. I cast helpful geometry. God damn it. I, I cast fuck you gravity. Yeah. God damn it. Stupid <laughs> control. These controls are so clunky. It was a different time. 
when we were much more young and patient. When we didn't know what good game design was. Yet. Some of us still don't. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? No, no one here in this channel, just some people still don't know what good game design is. Because mm. awful games are still made. I don't mean anybody here. Possibly somebody in chat, I don't know. Anyone in chat a game dev? Okay, that doesn't do it. Oh, I see. I see. Here. And then this shifts back up. And then... No, still not. Okay. Okay, um, oh, what about... Hey, you went through a whole fight without losing it. Yeah. This is the thing about the Reaver, is like, you only have it when you don't need it. Yes, okay. That's the trick, it's just straight up. Straight up. There we go. That did it. Okay. Okay. Up here. And we made it to the top. Alright, cool. Yay! What's up here, I wonder? Something. Nerd. Wow. Oh. Apparently it. not. <laughs> oh. I see a spear. <laughs> yeah, jumping's a neat trick, yeah. I'll try jumping, that's a good trick. Whee! Uh, no weapons. So I'm gonna go back and grab that spear, and then do a stealth kill. See that guy? Got him! Damn, Will! It's not that impressive, it auto-aims. <laughs> So here we have a nice little view. It's that wind. All the way down there, that is a long ass jump. <laughs> Leap of faith! I'm sure it's nothing I'm important. Sure it's nothing important. Gates down there. Yeah, we are way, way up. Geography of Nas got this shifted considerably in 2,000 years. Also, the music changed. Barrels. Hmm. What could this be? Suddenly, we're in ancient Egypt. Apparently. know how these puzzles work. We gotta match the images up. Can't see on this side, so it's probably on the other side. Uh, oh, there it is. Murals of screaming people. Yeah. Delightful. Screaming people. For some reason. No, oh, no, that's that doesn't fit. That does not 
outfit, so we'll just put that one aside. Maybe it goes in there. Yeah, it probably goes in the other one. I'm probably just a fool. Yes, you are. God damn it. <laughs> I gotcha. Good posture check. Thank you, Zerno. Thank you very much. Yeah. There, uh, there we go. Okay, good. Posture, good. Shrimp mode deactivated. I'm now sitting back. Shrimp mode? Yeah, the shrimp posture. What the hell is that? You don't know what the shrimp posture is? No. It's when you like lean forward and hunch over your keyboard. Like a shrimp. Oh. You know the default gamer posture? I, that's not my default. Well, that's good, because that means you have good posture, unlike me. Yes, but you're also taller than me. Yeah, that's awkward. You said it, not me. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> okay, we are missing one. Oh. I remember, this is a trick. This is a... This is a little trick. Oh, is it up there? It's up here. Yeah, it's up here. It's hidden. <laughs> yes, that posture. Thank you, Kyra. Yeah, I'm short. Har har. supposed to be Zen. Uh, hovering over it, that's what it says. Zen confirmed for Goblin. High five, Kai! We are proud members of the Short Club. It means we don't get mistaken for Sasquatches. Sasquatch. Lucky, this one will just fit right in. It looks like it might. Oh yeah, it will. See, yeah, these mirrors are kind of creepy. They're very creepy. I hate them. Yeah. Oh, okay. We gotta get that one down somehow. Ah, I see. Let's see how to get it down. How? Oh, I see. We gotta build means to bring it down. guy out there that's dude with hammer and then people all around him um, uh, breathing in clouds that's how I interpret that eh, that seems an apt thing but what did they mean by this hammer don't hurt them that's a reference no one's gonna get hmm. what did she mean by this don't worry about it about it. It's fine. Uh, the midgets up and hatch. <laughs> Some things never change. I think I just 
play it myself. Yup. Yeah, I just I screwed that up. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. Let's do this. Just mildly embarrassing. See what I did? I, I... Point and laugh. Ha 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 I almost locked myself in there. Okay, so... That needs most of a face. You almost cask of Amontillado to yourself. Nearly. Ah, there it is. For the love of God, Jane. <laughs> yes, for the love of God. Sleep well, bully snake. See ya, bully. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah, thank you for being here. I'm gonna be sappy for a minute and say thank you, all of you. Yeah. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out with us. It's always a good time. Yeah. Good water break. Does tea count? Water break! I'd say tea counts. It's got water in it. There. Tea's finished. Instead of like soda. Oh, apparently we are a solid mix of wholesome and gremlin. Um, which, which one of us is wholesome and which one of us is gremlin? Let's, let's not ask questions that we don't want to hear the answers to. No, I do want to hear the answer to this. <laughs> I think the suggestion is that we are both a mix of wholesome and gremlin, which fair sounds, sounds about right to me. Yeah, that's us. That's that is us. I wouldn't have it any other way. No, would I. I think is the last block. Now where is... Oh, did I just push it in front of the hole by accident? I think I did. I think you did. Oh, oh. Oh, we modeled no, it's now. A, Whoa. It, it's a rave. It's, 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 whoa. Smash altar, so now we inhale the cloud. Aziel, that's not what they mean when they say get high. Whoa! <laughs> this game is 35% great story and voice acting, 30% janky controls, and 25% blocks. Uh, uh, correct. Ab un undisputably correct. Yeah, then that's the best kind of correct. So, long jump? Jump into the void, yes or no? Too late. Well, no! Raziel is immune to fall damage. So check this out. Check this out. Hey. Hey, vampire. Come here. Hey, nerd! Let's make sure he does his dig animation. Okay. I turned him to stone! Stone. Oh, what can I not kill any stone? Nope. Oh, I need the soul weaver to kill him when he's turned to stone. I need a weapon to kill him when he's turned to stone. Quick, do it again. Whoa, glitch. 
I guess it doesn't. Uh, it just pauses them. Yeah, I guess it just stuns them. I guess you need the soul where you're gonna just kind of smash them and start to stun them. Why do you think I said midgets for having a hash? You get enemy stone? God damn. God damn it. <laughs> well played. That's the Willard. Okay, so you just earned the Willard prize there, if Wacker asks. That's it. That's the Willard prize. And that is indeed the Willard prize. So, what do you think, King's Row? Should we go a little more or should we call it here? I would say this is a good stopping place. Alright. Hey, look, the symbol's the same as your magic. I'll just do... I'll just do one last thing. Let's do one last thing. Let's get started. Next bit. This is not far to go to the next bit. Ah, the music. Yeah. Get wrecked, nerd. Yeah. Just jumped right over him. See ya. Bye. Creepy music kicks in. Go away. You're really gonna let these guys kick your ass? No. I'm gonna eat them for lunch. Nom 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 nom. Place? I do. This is where we fought Cain. Where the pillars of Nosgoth stand, or what's left of them. Stood. Past tense. Yeah, now they're just kind of the. The rubble. Yeah, the rubble of Nosgoth. used to go way, way up into the clouds, like you couldn't see the top of them. And then Cain did the thing, and the pillars shattered and fell to the ground. And now he built his, built his fort, his capital, over top of them. Because that's the kind of guy he is. Hey, Ariel. Like a corpse in a shallow grave. Corruption rises to the surface. Beyond these pillars, the defiled victim mutely screams its outrage. What did she mean by this? Hmm. Right? I mean, it sounds like they're screaming on the soundtrack. So now we can climb up here, at the very top of the dome. The old fan of the opera. Will, the, the organ was last level. Oh, yeah, sorry. Well, it looks like the chandelier's already come down. Pity. Yeah. That would've been funny to drop it on Kane's head. That'd be hilarious. Yeah. 
What's up, nerd? This is just to the other door. Yeah, it is. Creepy music. Very creepy. One shot that dude? Yeah, that's the reaver. Oh See that guy? Mm-hmm. Four! Praise Zorg! Fucking dude. Loser! You're having too much fun. The ancient tomb of the Seraphim, once impenetrably sealed, now ravaged by Nosgoth's upheavals, its mysteries lay exposed. In the time of Vorador, centuries before Cain was made, the Seraphim warrior priests waged a merciless war against the vampire tribes of Nosgoth. Emboldened by righteousness, they committed unspeakable and indiscriminate acts of violence, massacring fledglings and ancients alike. They decimated entire bloodlines in mere decades. Now their husks lay here, murderers enshrined. Deep history there. God, what good voice acting. Yeah, so good. I think there's a shortcut up here. Yes, this looks promising. Yes, okay. Look at the glyph. Hmm. It's a guy in a, in a coffin. And this is a guy in a coffin. See? The guy in armor with a in a coffin. It's a oh, it's, it's, a, it's one of the seraphim. It's a seraphim. Yeah. He's got one of the one of those like helmets. And a sword. Favorite bit of voice work in the series. You taste the uh, as basic bitch as my possibly. Okay, so my favorite bit of voice work in the series, Kai Herbert. Uh what do you think? Anything that comes out of Kane's mouth? Kane's last bit in this game is probably my favorite. Kane's whole... Any Kane monologue is good. That one or the one in, in 2 at the Pillars the first time, that one's also really good. Those are, those are both my, my favorite Kane monologues. Simon Templeman just has so much fucking gravitas. My god. Yeah. Downside is, every time he shows up in a game, I instantly distrust him. Well, you should. Take heed, Raziel. A forgotten history lies within. Know thyself, though it may destroy you. What do you mean by this? <laughs> Just say no to combat. Oh, hello. Sometimes combat says hello to you. There. Get exploded, idiot. 
Oh, hello. Oh, good. More idiots. I was telling chat the blue sparks means that's a that's a wraith that's re-inhabited its old body. He has extra powers. It's a good thing I killed him fast. Extra tasty. Yeah. What is this? Hmm. Do we have here? One little block. All right. Everybody ready? Yes. As I pulled the stone free, a sigh of sepulchral air escaped the inner chamber. I was not prepared for what lay beyond this threshold. These crypts, defiled caskets of seraphim saints, bearing my brother's names and my own. The irony of Cain's blasphemous act rushed in on me with the crushing force of revelation. Were my hands not as bloody as these? Worse, I had spilled the blood of my brothers, these very comrades whose tombs lay ravaged before me. Yes, Raziel, you were Seraphan, born of the same force that all but destroyed your race. Before the dawn of the Empire, you were chosen. Cain, Nosgoth's solitary self-declared monarch, plundered this tomb and raised you from these crypts. Breathing his vampiric gift into your defiled corpses, he resurrected you as his favored sons. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Chad, move. Take the greatest vampire hunters of an age gone by and make them your lieutenants. Giga Chad. <laughs> Notably, Malik doesn't have a crypt. Those of you who recall Blood Omen may recall why this is. Because Malik. Because he failed the original Circle of Nine and got them all killed, Malik was forced to forever inhabit his suit of armor. He was made immortal as punishment. So that's why he doesn't have a, uh, a sarcophagus here, because he was never entombed. Anyway, I think that'll do. That'll do for tonight. Thank you all for coming out to hang out, to join us on Tenebrous Tuesday, as we reave souls and plunder ancient secrets. Thank you, everybody, for coming out. Hope you all had a good time. Yeah. And we'll see you next week. Good night, See you everyone. next week for more stuff. Hey. Yay. Good night. <laughs>